I was a uh, full-time chef before I decided to come to the Dean School of Art. I enrolled in the Bachelor of Fine Arts. That was the start of my journey. My master's project is called Milk. I'm responding to the deluge of reality television programs. I have chosen to isolate a particular genre within that, which is obese people. And often they're paraded in front of the screen. It's all like the shock of the spectacle of the flesh. And so I've used this as a way of critiquing reality television. And so I've created three characters. I have my large character behind me who's called Beryl. And she has a rather codependent relationship with her son Raymond. And then I introduce a character in a stop motion film called Raylene. And they all mirror aspects of strategies that are used in reality television to sort of shame people and the spectacle of looking at other people's lives and judging um, within that there's a lot of black humour and it's quite playful and a little perverse. It took me a year to make the characters and the sets. Uh, I rely very heavily on the sets carrying the narrative because I'm not particularly patient with stop motion. It's a vehicle to get my message across but it's not Wallace and Gromit. Then I wanted to create a space where in fact when you walk away you pause and you think about what did that strangeness mean? What was it that I was trying to communicate with you? And I'm hoping that people step away from it and reflect and move past the humour. But I also want people to feel the magic of it. I want you to think, wow, how did you get this big thing in here? Like sometimes I think art should be a little bit magic. The Dunedin School of Art still have a ceramics department. We have a foundry. You can still do photography and develop film here. I mean, this is working with your hands. It's fantastic. It's as much about developing conceptual ideas as it is about actually being in there and, and discovering who you are by making.